Alhamdulillah, we are back now, brothers and sisters. Now we do lesson number seven. We did finish lesson number six. Al Ma'u Baridun, Sister Fatima, in Al Ma'a Baridun. Baridun is Khabar. Huh? And what is underneath, brother? As Sayaratu Jamilatun, Wufta the Khabar. In Sayarata. Jamilatun. Ismu inna khabar inna. Now we are, mashallah, strong in this. We understand it very well. Now you have to follow two sentences and make other sentences according to the pattern of these two examples. Ammin al Hindi anta ammin Pakistan. Sahih? Now we already had our explanation. So when a uh, and am um comes, and there are two things we are asking about, the first thing goes soon after Hamzatul Istifam, and then second thing follows am. Um. Is it clear? You should underline it and try to, you know, make sure that you don't make mistakes, you know. Atabibun anta am muhandisun. Atabibun anta am muhandisun. If you say, Anta Tabibun Am Muhandisun, that is incorrect. Uh, it has to be like this. Two things, both are separated. One comes after Hamzatul Istifam, and the other comes after Am. Now, I will start this time with brothers. <coughs> Anta, then we have Mujtahidun. And then we have Kaslan. Uh, now, Brother Muhammad, how will you use A and Am in here? Here, Brother, you will say, A Mujtahidun Anta Am Kaslanu Diptot. A Mujtahidun Anta Am Kaslanu. Got the idea, Brother? That's the way you got to do it. Maybe you should do one more. Okay. Asini Al Yaban. Now here you got to use min. Huh? So use min with these two. Okay, what will you say? A min ha. 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 A Tabi anti, it has to be anti, huh? because it is tabibatun and mumaridatun. So what will you say? Yeah, that is the way it is. Tabibatun huh? anti am mumaridatun with a question mark. Tabibatun anti am mumaridatun with a question mark. That's the way. Very good, brother. That's the way. I like it. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Brother. Uh, Yahudun. Mashallah. That is perfect. Brother Abdul Samad. That was perfect. Huh? May Allah bless you and all of us, inshallah. Amen. Now, Brother Said, we have here Masjidun, Madrasatun, and Haza. No, then it will be wrong, brother. A masjidun haza. A masjidun haza. Am madrasatun. Got the idea? Yeah. You got to separate them. Cannot bring them together. A masjidun haza. Am madrasatun. Inshallah. Okay. We start with Sister Halima now. Go backwards. Sister Halima. Mudar Rishi. It's very good, brother. As Sayaratul Mudiri Hadihi Am Sayaratul Mudar Rishi. Are you with me, brothers? As Sayaratul Mudiri Hadihi Am Sayaratul Mudar Rishi. Remember, this is the most perfect, eloquent way of saying. If you say the other way, brother, it is wrong. We don't say that in Arabic. Okay? 
Sister Arifa? Mashallah. Am mutazabijun anta am azabun. Azabun means bachelor, brother. Okay, Sister uh, Mamuna? Amma tuka. Akhala, akhala tuka hunna am, amma tuka. Mashallah, that is the correct way. Now, Sister Nasreen, it is come Pakistan and Iran. Now, you can use min here. Huh? So, what will you say? Uh, you will have to say min, add min here. Amin. Pakistan. Huwa. Am. Uh, am. Min al-Irani, you can say. Am min al-Irani. Huh? Uh, Min Pakistan huwa am min al-Iran. Sister, Mahinaj, aap kahenge? Yes. Karibun baituka am baitun. That was really beautiful. Okay. Brother, now we know ayu, kullu, and zu. Are you with me? And I told you, uh, most of the time in this case, the translation is done, not the grammar. Most of the time, translation is done, not the grammar. Okay, you just translate. What is the translation? Mudiruna zu lihyatin tawilatin. What is the translation? Our mudir has a long beard. That's all the translation. Are you with me? Are you with me, brother and sister? Our mudir, our director has a long beard. That is the translation. Now you don't go uh, in the literal translation eh? because zu means owner or possessor. So you don't say our mudir is the owner and possessor of a long beard. <laughs> but in, in Arabic we'll say like that. Zu means he has. Huh? Okay. So we will English say our director has a long beard. Now look at it brother carefully. I want you to find out Muftada and Khabar. Are you with me? Watch the sentence carefully. Whose turn was there now? Nusrat? See, Mudiruna, how many words are there? Two. Mudaf, Mudafili. So where is our Muftada? Mudiru huh? is our Muftada. Wahua Mudaf and Na Mudafili. Now where is our Khabar? Zu, in this case, Zu will be your Khabar. Sometimes zu can come as a naat. In this case, sister Abza, zu is your khabar. Wa huwa mudaf. And where is mudaf ilihi? Liyatin. And then what is tabilatin? Naat. See, Fatima? Liyatin tabilatin naat manud. Are you with me everybody, brothers and sisters? So liyatin is the mudaf ilihi. And then Tawi Latin is not. Huh? Got the idea? Inshallah. Now, Sister Sumayya. Hazad Daftaru, Mashara. These are beautiful sentences. Huh? This book has lined papers. That's all the English can say. Huh? This book has lined papers. Musat Tarin is the line. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Ghairu Musattarin will be plain paper. What is Haza? Sister Sumaya? What is Adaftaru? Mashallah. Now, where is our Khabar? Zu is your Khabar. Wahua Mudaf. And then Mudaf Ilihi. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. That was beautiful. Now, Sister Fatima, you got a tough question. Ahmadu Talibun Zu Ilmin Wa Khulukin. So what will you say, Ahmadu? Muftada. Where is our khabar? Talibun. Talibun is your khabar. Are you with me? Huh? Talibun is your khabar. Okay, and then what is Zu doing here? It is your Naat here. 
Are you with me? Now who is doing the job of Naat? Wahua mudaf. And then what is ilmin? Mudaf lehi. Wa ataf and khulukin ma'atufun ala ilmin. How will you tra- translate? Ahmed is a student with manners and knowledge. Huh? Okay? Ahmed is a, you can also say a good mannered and knowledgeable student. Are you with me? Ahmed is a well mannered and knowledgeable student. Are you with me? Ahmadu Talibun. Ahmad is a student. So Talibun is your khabar. And Zu comes soon after Talibun. So Zu is your Naat. Wa huwa Mudaf. And then Mudaf Ilahi. Are you with me? Inshallah. Who is now Sister Naima? Hazal Kamisu. Again Hazal Kamisu. Hada. Muqtada Al Kamisu. Sister Naima. Badal. Okay. Now we need our khabar. So where is our khabar? Zu. Huh? And then mudafilihi kummin. What is kummin? Sleeve. Huh? Kummin kathirin. This is, my shirt is uh, zu kummin tawilin. Short shirt will be zu kummin kathirin. Kummin kathirin. Okay, brother and sister. Now look at my shirt. Hazal kamisu zu Kummin Tawil. And anyone, it's winter, we don't have short shirts. But then if it is a short shirt, we'll say, Hazal Kamisu Zu Kummin Kathirin. Kummin is the sleeve. Are you with me, brother and sister? So Zu is your, okay. Zu is your khabar. And Zaka, Zaka means Zalika, Mubtada. Where is the khabar? Zu. And then, Kummin is mudafilehi and tawilin is naat. Are you with me brothers and sisters? Inshallah. This is a tough cookie. Aiza, the last one is, is a very interesting. Okay, al-masjidu. Al-masjidu al-lazi. What is al-lazi? Sister Faiza, what is al-lazi? Ismu mausula, relative pronoun. Ismu mausula. Okay, fine. Al masjidul lazi fi hajina. Okay. I'm not going to go too much in detail. Inshallah, someday we'll get it there. But al lazi, when it comes, it always has a silatul mausul. Remember, we did it, Silatul Mausul. In what, in this case, Sister Faiza, where is Silatul Mausul? Fi Hayyina, MashaAllah. That was good. Put that into bracket, brothers and sisters. Put it into bracket. Allazi Fi Hayyina. Fi Hayyina. Fi Hayyina, how many words are there? Three words. Fi, then Hayy, and then Na. Okay, fine. Now, the masjid which is in our neighborhood, what about it? There is the news. Zu, mashallah. Okay, so brother, where is our muftida? Al masjid. That is your muftida. And here I will say al lazi is a naat because it is describing it. Huh? What are you describing? And not. First and foremost, we will always say it's a mausula. Huh? And then we will say it is also a naat. In this case, it is naat. And then, fi hayina is our silatul mausul. Because it is connected with a, uh, al-lazi. Now, brothers and sisters, I know this is tough. No, 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 no. This is tough. But I, I do not want you to worry too much about it. If you understand, then I will say, Alhamdulillah. If you don't understand, then I will say, don't worry. Because later on, we are going to repeat these things over and over and over again. You know, and you will get it. Huh? So, Sister Naima, please don't worry. If you get it, Alhamdulillah. If you have little difficulty, just ignore it. Just translate. Huh? Just translate, okay. So, 
Because we are doing analysis, so I just want to do it. Al Masjidu, brothers and sisters, it is Muptada. Al Ladi is Ismu Mausula, but it is coming as a naat here because it is describing it. Okay? And then Fi Hayyina, Fi Harfchar, Hayyi Sum Majroor wa Hua Mudaf, Na Mudaf Ilahi. Now this thing is a Silatul Mausul. This is Silatul Mausul connected with Al Ladi. Then where is our Khabar? The, uh, that is your khabar, and then it is mudaf, manaratin, wahidatin, wahidatin is your naat. Okay. Now, if you remove al-lazi, fi hajina, what will you say, sister Faiza? Remove al-lazi and fi hajina, what will you say? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What will you say? The masjid has one minara. That's all. The masjid has one minara. Got the idea? Uh, so that is your dhu is your khabar then. Uh, if you say al-masjidu dhu manaratin wahidatin, then dhu is your khabar for masjid. Write down underneath, brother and sister, or on the side. What will you write down on the side? Al-masjidu dhu manaratin wahidatin. Could you please write it down? Uh, so you know this is the actual sentence. But then we are describing the masjid in our neighborhood has single, single minara. Okay, brothers and sisters? Got the idea, brother Muhammad? Yes. Inshallah. Everybody with me, brothers and sisters? Now, here, Dr. Abdurrahim wants us to practice. Now, this is again something that you will just try to do it. We won't go detail in, in detail too much. Detail. But the zoo is singular. What is the plural of zoo? Zavu. Huh? It is plural. Huh? And zoo is a masculine. What is the monast of zoo? Zatu. And if zatu is singular, what is the plural of zatu? Zavatu. Huh? Okay. Now, as I said, do not Put yourself in too much stress to, to memorize it and, and, you know, just take it lightly. Just do the exercise. Because over the time that we will be studying, you will get very strong, brother and sister. Look at this uh, example. Hada talibu, what is hada? Mubtada. What is talibu? Badal. Where is the khabar? Zu khulukin. This student is well-mannered. Hmm? This student is well-mannered. Fine. Now change that into plural. Haulai tullabu. What is haulai? Mubtada. What is attullabu? Badal. And then what is zabu? Our khabar. Wahuwa mudaf. And khulukin is mudaf ilayhi. Very good, brother. Hazihi talibatu. What is hazihi? Mubtada. What is the taribatu? Badal. And then what is zatu? Khabar. Wa huwa mudaf. And then khulukin is mudaf ilayhi. This female student is well mannered. Fine. Ha ulai talibatu. Ha ulai talibatu. Ha ulai talibatu. Zawatu. Khulukin. So, haulai, our muftada. What is a talibatu? Badal. And what is zawatu? Is your khabar. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudaf ilay. Brother Muhammad? Yes. This is very simple if we try to analyze it. Okay? Otherwise, zu, zavu, zatu, zawatu. If you remember, alhamdulillah, if you don't remember, don't worry, it will come in the lessons, inshallah. Now we've got to do our own. Uh, we've got to do our own, brothers and sisters. Hadha rajulu zu malin kathirin. Let us analyze this. Hadha muptada. Ar rajulu badal. Where is our khabar? Zu. And what is malin? Mudafilihi. What is kathirin? Naat. Uh, malin kathirin. Uh, can I point out my finger to 
بدر محمد سے حاضر رزول ذو مال کثیر آئی کین پوائنٹ آؤٹ ٹو بدر عبد السمد اینڈ سے حاضر رجل ذو مال ان کثیر ہوا تاجر ناؤ ہاؤ ول یو میک اٹ اوکے بدر رجل واٹ از دا بونس آف رجل المرا تو المرا تو المرا تو اوکے سوری نو فسٹ پورا فسٹ وی ڈو نو فسٹ وی ڈو پرورل سسٹر سخینا اٹ از یور ٹرن نو سسٹر میک ہاز آر رجلو ان ٹو پرورل Yes. Say it again, sister, one more time, loudly. Ha-ulai rijalu, zawu malin kasirin. Ha-ulai rijalu, not rijalun. Rijalu. Ha? Okay, badal. Okay, ha-ulai rijalu, zawu malin kasirin. You write it down, huh, brother? Inshallah. Now, then how will you say your uh, sister Hafza? Make it hadar rajalu into mu'anas. نا مونس نا هذه هذه المرأة what will you say هذه المرأة ذات مال كثير very good ما شاء الله now brother uh, you have to say now ها هو لاين no no نساون مرأة plural is نساون ہاؤلائی نساؤ زواتو مالن کثیر بس رائٹ اٹ ڈاؤن ایٹ ہوم ڈو دس ایکسرسائز یو ول بیکم اسٹرانگ ان شاء اللہ آر یو اینڈ دا کانسیپٹ از ویری کلیئر وتھ یو ان شاء اللہ اوکے بدر دس از اگین ہلوا پوری یو ول ہیو نو ڈفیکلٹی ان ڈوئنگ اٹ وی ریئلی وانٹ ٹو فنش دا لیسن سو دیٹ وی کین اسٹارٹ اے نیو لیسن Uh, tomorrow, inshallah. I have some handouts to give you. Please do collect your handouts because tomorrow, if possible, I'll explain you extra things about Inna. The things that we do in book three. But I want to do it now with you so that you see with Inna something else comes, something else comes in the Quran and I want you to enjoy it. and feel it in your heart you know so what is this extra thing I'm going to leave the handout with you you will read it inshallah and tomorrow I will explain you it's so beautiful brother when you understand this then brother there's nothing sweeter than Quran there is nothing more eloquent than Quran it is so beautiful then You know, you, you will say, I just want somebody to recite Quran in Arabic and I want to listen to it and understand it directly, inshallah. We said, Inna has many sisters and La Allah is one of the sisters. So whatever Inna does, whatever Badi Ban does, Choti Ban also does the same thing. Okay, brother? Who are we khairin? Where were we? Now, brother Hassan, who are we khairin? لا اللہ بھی خیر ان خلاص سو وین یو سی لا اللہ لا اللہ من اخوات ان لا اللہ من اخوات انہ ایٹ دس جنکچر وی سی اٹ از دا سسٹر آف انہ لا اللہ من اخوات انہ آر یو وت می فائن اینڈ دین وٹ از ہو بدر حسن وٹ از ہو نا اسمو لا اللہ اس ایسی But uh, then also, Brother Hassan, you will say, Ismu la'alla mansubun. Are you with me? And what will you say, Bi khairin? Jar majru. Shibu jumla khabar. Khabar of what? Khabar la'alla. Okay, do one more, brother. You got to do one more. Huh? Bi khairin. It's easy. So what is la'alla? What is la'alla? La'alla is min akhwatu inna. What is it? من اخواتو انہا it is sister of انہا صحیح 
لَعَلَّ مِنْ أَخْوَاتُ إِنَّا Okay brother, now tell me what is whom? Majroor. Shibu Jumla, Khabar, La'alla. Are you with me? Because now La'alla has come, so you will say, Ismu La'alla and Khabar La'alla. Are you with me? When Inna came, we said, Ismu Inna and Khabar Inna. Now La'alla has come, we will say, Ismu La'alla and Khabar La'alla. If La'kinna comes, then we will say, Ismu La'kinna and khabar la kinna. If anna comes, anna, then we will say ismu anna and khabar anna. When if say ka anna, so then you will say ismu ka anna and khabar ka anna. If I say laita, ya laitani kuntu turab, you know, so that is also sister of inna. So if you say laita, then there will be ismu laita and khabar laita. Are you with me, brother? It's very simple. Huh? Inshallah, if you'll practice, think about this. Ismu la'alla and khabar la'alla. Brother Abdul Samad, hiya bi khairin. La'alla hiya bi khairin. La'alla ha. La'alla ha bi khairin. Okay. Brother, I think let us brush up our 14 pronouns with la'alla. Ready? With a huwa. La'alla hu. La Allahuma, La Allahum, La Allaha, La Allahuma, La Allahunna, La Allaka, La Allakuma, La Allakum, La Allaki, La Allakuma, La Allakunna, La Alli. What is it? La Alli, and then La Allana, La Allana. Okay, fine. Now, La Alla. Okay, La Alla. Okay. Lala and then the ism is mansub. La lahu, la lahuma, la lahum. La laha, la lahuma, la lahunna. La laka, la lakuma, la lakum. La laki, la lakuma, la lakunna. La ali. La Allana, La Allana. One more time I'll say, brother and sister. La Allahu, La Allahuma, La Allahum. La Allaha, La Allahuma, La Allahunna. La Allaka, La Allakuma, La Allakum. La Allaki, La Allakuma, La Allakunna. La Alli. La Allana. Alhamdulillah. Jazakum Allah khair. So, okay, you do one more, brother of the summit. La Allah Hunna bi khair. So, brother, what is La Allah? Min akhwatu inna. It is from the sisters of inna. And Hunna became Ismu La Allah. Ismu La Allah Mansub. What will you say? Ismu La Allah Mansub. Very good. And then what is uh, then bi khairin jar majroor shibu jumla khabar la Allah khabar la Allah mashaAllah brother Saeed you do the next one anta bi khairin anta will become la Allah ka bi khairin are you with me la Allah ka bi khairin means I hope you are well okay. So la Allah is min akhwatu inna and ka is ismu la Allah mansubun is everybody following me inshallah I'm repeating the same things brothers and sisters and where is the khabar of la Allah bi khairin jar majroor shibu jumla khabar got the idea brother Saeed inshallah sister Arifa okay describe it sister la Allah min akhwatu inna ki Ismu la Allah mansu, sahi, and then bi khairin, jar majru, shibu jumla khabar la Allah. Okay, sister Nasreen, ana najihun, la Ali najihun, la Ali najihun. Well, how will you translate? You have given your examination. Now you are saying la Ali najihun. I hope. 
I will pass or I will I am I am the one who will pass I hope I pass I hope I pass huh? I am the one who has Najihun the one who is successful in the exam okay so so if you say Lali Lala mina khwatu inna where is the ismu Lala ya mutakallim huh? are you with me how will you write down brothers and sisters La Ali. How many words? Two. Okay. La Allah min akhwatu inna ya mutakallam ismu la Allah mansubun. And where is the khabar? Najihun. Are you with me? Yes, sister uh, uh, Mainaz. La Allah na najihun. We hope we are successful. Are you with me? So. <coughs> La'alla min akhwatu inna anna. Ismu la'alla mansub and najihuna is your khabar. Najihuna is your khabar. Are you with me? La'alla min akhwatu inna na. Ismu la'alla najihuna khabar la'alla. That's the way inshallah. Now sister Nusrat. Al Mudira. Lurfatiya. What is the translation? I hope the Muduri is, Muduri is in his room. Ha. So, La Allah Al Mudira. La Allah Al Mudira. Like in Al Mudira, same way, La Allah Al Mudira. Fil Gurfati. So, Fil Gurfati is your Jar Majur Shibu Jumla Khabar. Okay? And La Allah Mudira. It means La Fatu Inna Al Mudira. Ismu La Allah Mansub. Very good. Now, this is a very nice sentence, Sumaya. You will always say this when you write exam. What will you say? La Allal Ikhtiba Ikhtiba Ra. Ikhtiba Ra. Remember, it's easy. Don't forget. Ismu La Allah or Mansub. La Allal Ikhtiba Ra Sahlun. Can you translate? See, La Allah can either show. Uh, hope or fear. These are all hope, showing all hope. La Allah al-Ikhtibara sahlun. MashaAllah, that's all that you hoped. I hope the examination is easy. So where is the ismu la Allah? Al-Ikhtibara. Where is khabar? Sahlun. MashaAllah, that was beautiful. Now, in the next lesson, brothers and sisters, we are coming across a verb. Huh? What are we coming across? Uh, I will use three, four minutes to tell you a little bit. Huh? We haven't done our verbs. Here is a verb, brother. What is the verb? Laisa. This is a very nice verb, brother. Huh? This, is, this is not... Regular verb, this is a weak verb, laysa. Huh? What is in the middle? There is ya. And also ya has a sukun. Now we have to remember that in Arabic, two sukuns cannot come together. It cannot come, because you cannot pronounce. Huh? And if the two sukuns come, then if one of the two sukun is a weak letter, then we drop it. So, ya is drop then. Huh? If the two sukuns come, ya is drop. Ready? Start conjugating. Laisa, laisa, laisu, laisat, laisata, and then, then we st stop. Because hunna, special condition. What are the conditions for hunna, brother? Watch this. Laisa, and then we put hunna. Are you with me? Now, First radical, second radical, third radical. Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. When hunna comes, condition is the lam kalima should get a sukun. If I put a sukun here, huh, then there is a sukun here. So I have a problem. Uh, I cannot pronounce. So then, I... 
drop it, the ya. Why I drop the ya? Because it is a weak letter. Ya and vow are weak letters when they come in the verb. Okay? So, brothers and sisters, what will be now? Lasna. If I know lasna, brother, then where I am now? If I know lasna, where I am now? I am 407. <laughs> when I come to lasna, where I am now? I am 407. So I know what to do next. Speed up. What will I say? Lasta, lastuma, lastum, lasti, lastuma, lastunna, lastu, lasna. So simple, brother. Can you say fast like me? <laughs> Try. Lasna, lasta, lastuma, lastum, lasti, lastuma, lastunna, lastu, lasna. Ta tumatum, ti tumatunna, tuna. That's all. So now you do the whole thing. Laisa, laisa, laisu, laisat, laisata, lasna. Lasta, lastuma, lastum, lasti, lastuma, lastunna, lasna. Lastu, lasna. Brother and sister, if we do not understand this concept, then you will say, what kind of a, where are we going? When you say lasna, where did the ya go? But why did ya disappear? Because when you came to hunna, the condition was the third radical should get a sukun. When we gave the third radical sukun, we ended with we ended up with having two sukuns. And now that is not possible in Arabic. So one of the sukun has to be given a pink slip. We all understand in Canada pink slips. <laughs> Okay, so we gave a pink slip to Ya and you said, bye, you take a vacation now. Huh? And then what is left now? Lasna. What is left now, brother? Lasna. Brother and sister, try to conjugate this on a piece of paper. We got lots of conjugation paper. Huh? Mashallah, mashallah. One more time, brother and sister. Laisa. Laisa. Laisu. Laisat. Laisata. Lasna, lasta, lastuma, lastum, lasti, lastuma, lastunna, lastu, lasna. So, Sir Abza, can you say loudly, starting with laisa, start? Laisa, laisa, laisu, laisat, laisata, lasna. Las, masha, lasta, lastuma, lastum, lasti, lastuma, lastunna, lastu, lasna. But that is easy. Trust me, this is pure halwa puri. <laughs> okay? Well, meaning and everything we'll do tomorrow. Huh? We'll do tomorrow. Huh? But I just thought at least you know that the conjugation is done like this. It will save time tomorrow. We'll do the meaning tomorrow. And what does Laisa does? We'll do tomorrow. Okay? Rabbana atina fi dunya asanatam wa fil akhirati asanatam wa kina adab nar Rabbana هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا قرة أيون وجعلنا للمتقين إماما ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت سميع العليم وتوب علينا